Google's Titans AI just changed the game completely. This model remembers everything and gets smarter every time you use it. There's also a new AI agent that can click through any software without needing code. And Google's Gemini just overtook ChatGPT in growth speed. If you're building anything with AI right now, you need to see this. Okay, so I've been testing AI models for years now, and what Google just released is honestly wild. They solved one of the biggest problems we've all been dealing with. And most people have no idea this even happened yet. So here's the issue. You know when you're working with ChatGPT or Claude and you paste in a long document, maybe it's a report or a bunch of data, the AI starts out great, but then halfway through it's like the model forgot what you even asked. It loses track of important details. It misses connections between ideas. It's frustrating because you know the information is there, but the AI just can't hold on to it. That's because most AI models don't actually learn from what you give them. They process it once and that's it. There's no memory update, no learning loop, just input and output. Google's Titans completely flips this. The model updates its memory while you're using it. Think about that for a second. As you feed it information, it decides what matters and what doesn't. If something surprises the model or breaks a pattern, it remembers that. If something is repetitive or obvious, it lets that fade away. This means every conversation makes the model better, not just for you, but for the specific task you're working on. It's like having an assistant that actually pays attention instead of just nodding along. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. Google tested Titans with over 2 million tokens. To put that in perspective, that's enough space for about 20 novels. And the crazy part is this model only has 760 million parameters. Compare that to GPT-4, which has way more. Yet Titans performs better on long documents. They put it through this test called Needle in a Haystack. Basically, they hide one tiny piece of information inside a massive file and see if the AI can find it. Most models fail hard at this. Titan scored over 95% at 16,000 tokens. That's insane accuracy for something that complex. Then they ran another test called Babylon. This one checks if the model can connect facts across huge amounts of text. Titans didn't just pass, it beat GPT-4, it beat Llama-3, even when that model had 70 billion parameters and special tools to help it search. Titans won without any extra help. So, why does this matter for your business? Let me give you a real world example. Say you run customer support and you're getting hundreds of tickets every week. Right now, you'd have to manually look for patterns, what problems keep coming up, what solutions work best. That takes hours with Titans. You dump all those tickets into the model, not just from this week, but from the entire month. The AI reads through everything, spots the patterns, learns what responses actually solve problems and gives you a breakdown. And because it's learning as it goes, it gets better at understanding your specific customers and their issues. Or think about content strategy. You want to know what's working in your industry, what topics are getting engagement, what questions do people keep asking. You could feed Titans every blog post, every social media thread, every comment section you can find. It'll pull out insights that would take your team weeks to find manually. And if you want to learn how to actually use AI tools like Titans to automate your business and save hundreds of hours, join the AI Profit Boardroom. You'll get step-by-step -step training on processing massive amounts of data with these new models and turning that into real business growth. Link is in the description. Google also released something called Nemocine. It's not a model itself, it's more like a blueprint for how AI should handle memory. They looked at all the different ways models store information. Transformers do it one way, Mamba does it another way, RetNet has its own approach. Nemocine breaks all of that down into four simple questions. What does the memory look like? How does the model choose what to save? How quickly does old information get replaced? And how does the memory evolve over time? Using that framework, Google built three more models, Moneta, Mnemosyne AD, and Nemora, in tests with super long context. Some of these beat both Mamba2 and traditional Transformers. And this is all happening really fast. Now let me tell you about Lux because this one is honestly crazy. The Open AGI Foundation just dropped an AI agent that destroys everything else on the market. And I mean destroys. Lux can look at your computer screen, understand what's on it, and then control it like a human would. It clicks buttons, it scrolls through pages, it types in forms, it can handle full desktop applications, web browsers, spreadsheets, text editors, even your email. This isn't some chatbot with limited functions. This is full computer control. They tested Lux against other top models on something called Mind2Web. It's a benchmark with over 300 real-world tasks from actual websites. 
Look scored 83.6, Gemini only got 69, OpenAI's new operator tool got 61.3, Claude Sonnet 4 got 61, Lux is crushing everything by a huge margin. And mind 2 web is not easy. Every single task depends on understanding visual layouts that change constantly. Random UI designs, weird button placements, inconsistent navigation. Most models struggle hard with this. Lux handles it all. It works through three different modes depending on what you need. Actor mode is for fast tasks. You need to fill out a form, extract some data, pull a report. Actor mode does it in about one second per action. That's incredibly quick for something processing entire screens. Thinker mode is for bigger goals. You just tell it what you want the end result to be. The AI figures out every step needed to get there. It plans the whole thing out on its own. Tasker mode gives you total control. You write out the steps in Python and Lux follows them exactly. If something breaks or fails, it has error handling built in. It will retry and adapt until it works. Here's why this changes everything. Right now, if you want to automate a task, you need an API. That's a technical connection between two pieces of software, but tons of tools don't have APIs or the API doesn't do what you need or it's complicated to set up. So you're stuck doing things manually. Lux doesn't care about APIs. It just watches your screen and acts like a person would. Let's say you need to pull data from 10 different platforms for a report. Three of them have APIs, seven don't. Normally you'd be stuck manually copying and pasting from those seven. With Lux, you just tell it what data you need and where it lives. The AI opens each platform, navigates to the right pages, grabs the data and organizes it for you. Zero coding required. The way they trained Lux is what makes it so powerful. They use something called agentic active pre-training. Instead of the model just reading about how to use computers, it actually practiced using computers millions of times in thousands of different environments. The system is called OS Gym and it's open source. It can spin up over 1000 virtual operating systems at the same time. Then it runs the AI through task after task after task, around 1400 different action sequences every single minute. So Lux built real intuition for how software works, how interfaces behave, how to handle weird edge cases. This is Google's Play. Build the premium pro version for people who need maximum performance. Then release a flash version for everyone else who needs to run tons of requests without breaking the bank. If this launches in December, like rumors are saying, you'll see Gemini Nano everywhere. Flash models are perfect when you need to process high volumes of data all day long. And here's the big picture. OpenAI just sent out an internal memo. Sam Altman told his entire team, they're in code red mode. Why? Because Gemini is growing five times faster than ChatGPT right now. Google's momentum is real and OpenAI knows it. So let's connect all of this. Titans gives you AI that learns and remembers. Lux gives you automation that works on any software. Gemini Nano 2 Flash gives you cheap high speed processing. And Gemini overall is now outpacing ChatGPT in growth. This is all happening right now. And if you want to learn exactly how to use tools like Titans and Lux to automate your business and save hundreds of hours every month, join the AI Profit Boardroom. You'll get complete step-by-step -step training on using these cutting edge models to process massive data and extract insights. Link is in the description. And if you want the full process, SOPs and 100 plus AI use cases like this one, Join the AI Success Lab, links in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 38,000 members who are crushing it with AI. That's it for today. Hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one.